Now, I can't take credit for this, by the way. I'll read it in a moment. But uh, this is a, a meme that went around on the internet ages ago. Someone else came up with it. They're pretty brilliant because it's spot on. This is the description of Christianity, dead honest. The belief that some cosmic Jewish zombie can make you live forever if you symbolically eat his flesh and telepathically tell him that you accept him as your master so he can remove an evil force from your soul that is present in humanity because a rib woman was convinced by a talking snake to eat from a magical tree. <laughs> that is literally the Christianity that was being taught in its first, let's say, 1800 years, almost 2000 years of Christian history. Totally makes sense, right? Now, a lot of Christians say, well, okay, that, uh, that's, that sounds a little ridiculous. Okay, so um, I, I get you. That, that's crazy. So we can, we can make this more sensible. And so we came up with a, a new and improved Christianity where all that Eve stuff, okay, rib woman stalking snakes. Okay, that's all baloney. We, we'll grant you that. We'll concede you that. But I still have an imaginary friend who magically manipulates the world for me. And he also magically impregnated a woman 2,000 years ago. And she bore him a son who underwent an ancient ritual of blood sacrifice in order to dispel a curse laid upon me, thus ensuring I will be immortal. Footnote, although I've never seen this work for anyone else before. Now, that's completely honest and correct analysis of Christianity, a description of it. Uh, and yet it looks absurd when you actually spell it out that way. But what if someone came up to you and said that they have an imaginary friend named Zalmoxis, who they insist is really real, and they'll never die because this ancient demigod cleansed their soul with blood magic, which grants them the power of living forever in a magical place no one can see. That actually existed. That was the description of the Zalmoxis cult, which is attested in Herodotus, as I mentioned, 500 years before Christianity. So if Zalmoxis cult is ridiculous, Christianity is ridiculous because it's just the Jewish version of the same religion.